Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. This will be a six card spread, having a look to see what could potentially be coming up for you. These messages will resonate with some people, but not for all. Um, hopefully there might be something um, insightful in here for you. If there's not, maybe there's someone else you can tune into. Um, but I do sincerely hope something will um, resonate with you here, uh, Capricorn feel like this pile wants to come out. There's some cards here that need addressing. Okay, the first card, you have the Queen of Pentacles. The second card, the Two of Swords. The third card, the Four of Cups. The Five of Swords. The Three of Cups. Oh, perfect. Okay, Seven of Cups. Six cards. Okay, these messages needed to come to you, Capricorn, starting off with the Queen of Pentacles. Regardless if you're a male or a female watching this or you're gender fluid or whatever's going on with you, you've come up as a queen. You've come up in your power. You've come up as a really refined energy with lots of direction and momentum. Absolutely beautiful. The Queen of Pentacles is the last queen of the deck, so it's quite a senior energy. It's quite a refined energy. Um, I feel as though there's luxury, there's wisdom, there's knowledge, there's love, there's nurturing around her. So however this applies to you, um, I feel as though you're coming in with a very, very refined energy. You're holding something in your hands for some of you. Now, this could be a luxury asset, a home, the purchase of a car. The Queen of Pentacles does rule the earthly realm. So you're seeing growth. For some of you, you're seeing investments and returns. Financial growth or gain is definitely in your favor here, Capricorn. So this is very exciting. Wonderful movement in career, I feel, especially your relationships with people in career um, and the people you've been working with, the people that report to you, the people that you report to. Wonderful growth and developments in career relationships or business relationships with the Queen of Pentacles here. So that's very, very powerful. Um. This could also be another earth sign if you're dealing with one romantically or in a business sense. I do think there's wonderful things happening with an earth sign and yourself here. But I always, I, I also feel Capricorn that this is you. Um, you're coming up as the best version of yourself. You've got leadership skills. You've got stability. You've got value, uh, prestige. I, I find the Queen of Pentacles quite prestigious. So I think you'll be known for something you're contributing to career-wise, perhaps. But I like the energy that's coming in around you. That's very, very positive. Moving over, you have the Two of Swords. Conflict decisions that need to be made or, or, or turning a blind eye to something here. This can be barriers. I feel for some of you in a mental aspect or if you are dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, there's some sort of block or mental barrier when it comes to communication. What I love, though, is that you're growing from the Two of Swords to the Five of Swords, and that's quite a leap. It's quite a quantum leap. So I think with the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords, you'll be picking up this communication again. So if you haven't heard from an air sign, um, or if you've been, if you've fallen out with someone and there's, you've blocked each other on social media, you've blocked each other out of each other's lives, I do think this person is coming back because I do see that you've got... Um, Quite a lot of progress that's happening for this month in different areas of your life, but in particular in regards to communication, it doesn't necessarily have to be with an air sign. It can be anyone that you've sort of blocked or ended communication with. Um, I also think you'll have a choice. So this person will be coming back, I think, trying to pick up the pieces with you, Capricorn, but the choice will be yours whether you want to pick up where you left off, pick up the pieces, or just walk away and move on altogether. So... You're going to be faced with a tough decision here. And I think this decision can definitely impact a lot of things here for you. You know, on your journey of life, so to speak. So it can be, it can change the fate of your destiny. Absolutely. Um, it's not an easy decision. It's almost like feeling at a crossroads. It's interesting. It sits in the same column as the three of cups. So I'm wondering if some of you are choosing between lovers Choosing between potential people you could be in a relationship with. There may be a lot of questions around this person, especially if it is someone ruled by the cups, a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Because if this person is coming through, I feel as though you have the element of choice. You've got the upper hand here. Now, it can also be an air sign that's choosing you and someone else. But because this is a reading catered to you, Capricorn, it very well could be that you are faced with a very difficult decision which does reiterate it's, it could potentially change your destiny. This is you sitting at the tree of life. And any changes or new ventures, new people, new journeys or new experiences that make their way to you can change the direction of your life, of your career, of your love life. There is an unexpected offer here. And I think this is why this tough decision is making its, itself known to you, Capricorn, because I do believe 
you, you're, you're very concentrated on something here. I don't know if this is enlightenment, learning, love, career, but I see you very focused. You've got goals, you've got options, you've got resources, but something is going to come into the works here and it's going to be very unexpected. It sits in the same column as the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups can be scattered energy. It's it's surprises. It's it's lack of clarity. It's it's you wanting so much and having so many options. And then suddenly another option is, is added to the table here, is added to the offers. So I'm seeing that there's a bit of an overwhelming energy here for you, Capricorn, but you because you have options. And suddenly this other option turns out to become a very, very tough decision for you. But I do think this is about learning about your feelings. I almost feel like you're going to be, even you will be surprised with what you're feeling. Even you will be surprised with what's to come this month because you won't see it coming. And as, as practical and as level-headed as you are, um, I, I definitely th think you can bounce back and there's a lot of resilience um, and, and you can you can move forward with something in, in quite a pragmatic way. Um, in quite in such a way where where you've assessed the situation, so to speak. So I think there's a bit of this going on, but you're genuinely going to be surprised by something here. I do. I see you conflicted. You didn't see it coming. The notion of the blindfold, you didn't see this coming. So even you will be surprised by this. Is what I'm seeing. Now the Five of Swords is here. Some of you are walking away from a certain situation here. There's either communication, someone's going to want to communicate with you and you're just going to block them off completely. Um, you're, you're walking away. Maybe you don't have the energy. Maybe you don't have the time. Maybe you don't have the emotion to go through this all again. And as a result, you will be turning your back on this person or they'll be turning their back on you. Someone is looking back though. So I do feel like someone might walk out on the situation, might walk out on you or you might walk out on them, but someone still lingers. Someone still waits to hear from you. Someone still hopes that there's a chance that you can rekindle your words, that you can speak again, that you can reconnect in a certain way. So I do think someone is waiting to hear from you. Um, it's like a longing. Um, it's a yearning of sorts, so to speak. Um, I'm just having deja vu right now, so I don't know if some of you have have had this scenario play out before in recent in your recent past, um, but I'm absolutely having deja vu, and it's the same cards, and I'm saying exactly the same thing here. Wow. Okay. So look, um, it, it might resonate with some of you, or it's just I don't know, just something I'm going through right now. But look, I think with this Capricorn. It's it could be someone from the past or someone you've turned your back on already and they're and they're coming forward wanting something from you once again here with the five of swords, picking up the pieces or moving on, the notion of needing to move on. And what I like that follows the Five of Swords is the Three of Cups, which can um, symbolize celebration, relief, and just just feeling like a a, a a weight has been lifted off your shoulders here. So I like the energy that's coming through here for you, Capricorn. I think it's quite strong, but there is a celebration here with the Three of Cups. Some of you are celebrating something here. I'm not sure if it's to do with career success. It absolutely could be. I'm not sure if it's because you've chosen to block someone away from your life if they've caused you some sort of angst, woe, or grief. It could be that. Um, or I'm not sure if you're celebrating because you're reconnecting with someone again, but there's it has you feeling good. Now, this won't apply for everyone. This will apply for some, but I do see you in quite a merry mood here with the Three of Cups. You've got support. You've got encouragement. This could be friends, family, associates, anybody that you've been working with or anybody that is um, supporting you in your decisions. It's a really good energy to have the Three of Cups. Sometimes it is, it is seen as a third-party situation. And if you are currently romantically involved with someone, there might be someone new that, that you may be meeting that, again, faces you with a very tough decision this month, Capricorn. Um, because the next card over is the Seven of Cups. As much as it's scattered energy, having a lot of options, being uncertain, having different desired outcomes, trying to play out different scenarios here, Capricorn... I do think you're manifesting things because it is a card of manifestation. It's a selection process. Do, do they meet the criteria? Do you meet their criteria? Is, are they who you're looking for? Are you who they're looking for? There's a lot of unanswered questions. And there's still, I feel like you still need to absorb and learn something more before you make a valid decision. 
because I do feel like you're faced with a decision and it's one that could impact you in a very um, in a very big way it's going to surprise you a little bit yes but ultimately I think you will make the decision that 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 is drawn to you that emotionally resonates with you I feel like something is calling you it's drawing you it's attracting you um, and it's happening sometime this month and looking at these other cards here, there's a lot of people in these cards, so I think it may do it may have something to do with friendships, relationships, business partnerships, and, and, and things of this nature. It could be like some of you are choosing a different career altogether. <coughs> You've willing to walk away from something you've built with someone else. And you've established yourself with this person, with this venture, idea, product, service, but now there's new goals new dreams, new hopes, new wishes that stand in your path and suddenly it all goes back to this decision that needs to be made because you have options. You'll just need to choose which one you want to take, which one you want to go with, which one you're being drawn to, attracted to. There's a pull there, uh, Capricorn. But what I love here really is that starting off the reading, the Queen of Pentacles, I think you're in the right mind state. Whatever it is that happens, you'll, you'll survive. You'll make the tough decision. Um, you'll survive it. You'll be fine. But I do see that it's whatever outcome you receive here or always received, as a result, you'll be faced with new goals or you'll be faced with new experiences. But these can be very enriching experiences. You know, the dream home, the dream relationship, the dream business, um, you know, it's an element of surprise, Pandora's box, so to speak. So that's quite, um, it's quite interesting here. I think it's a bit of a mixed bag for a lot of you, to be honest. So I'd love to hear how this may resonate with you. You know, it's a different results, different outcomes will come, come, come up for a lot of you, actually. <clears throat> But I do think there's a lot of options. It's just an, quite an overwhelming energy with options. Okay, you have the moon card, then the star, the high priestess, the seven of swords, the ten of cups, and the six of swords. Okay, starting off with the moon card. I, I love this, the, this little corner here. This is very auspicious for you. The moon card can be a strong cancer coming through for some of you. I feel like with the moon card here, this is a bit of anxiety or emotional upheaval when it comes to romance and relationships, particularly if there is a lot of emotion um, involved in a connection here. Interesting that it sits near the five of swords. I'm wondering if some sort of you know, over here there's 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 tears. I'm not sure if this is tears of joy. You've got water here, so I'm not sure if there's an emotional outpour. Tears of joy, tears of sadness, te tears of happiness. But I feel like there's tears this month for some of you. Not for all, but for some of you, there's there's emo something is emotionally quite fueled, quite heightened, and as a result, there's tears. I'm not sure if that's because you're leaving someone behind. Because especially if this is an air sign or someone that exhibits the traits of an air sign, I feel as though with the Six of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords, this person has hurt you before. Um, I'm not sure if they've closed themselves off to love before he Capricorn, but they're moving away from you is what I'm seeing. So some of you are actually going to take that in, um, take that decision and, and remove this person from your life. Or this is them removing you from their life. They're moving on. They're setting sail. They either want to get away from the chaos, the turbulence of your relationship, or they've got someone else around them. They've got someone else in the boat. So if they're not taking with you, say, for example, if you're not going traveling together, then I feel as though they're taking someone else with them on their journey of life. They're, they're continuing on or they're taking their children or, or whatever it is. And they're, they're moving on, so to speak. They're sailing away, so to speak. Sorry. They're sailing away from you is what I'm seeing, Capricorn. Um, and, and this is where the, up, the emotional upheaval lies with the moon card. Um, it's also intensity in emotion. What's beautiful about this, though, is that the star card follows, and the star card is all about healing. So despite the emotional turbulence, the star card, the water bearer, provides cleansing. So I think there's some sort of cleansing going on. I'm not sure if this is spiritual cleansing, if you're just getting rid of all the negative toxic energy in your life right now, Capricorn, but I am seeing that a cleansing will take place. And with the high priestess, all will be healed. 
All will be healed. Harmony will be restored. This is very powerful with the star card. This is also destiny, fate, things aligning in the stars for you. However this occurs throughout, whether you're single or you're coupled or you're married, everything that's occurring right now, this is validation from the universe of the star. This is how it's meant to be. This is the outpour of emotion that needs to come out because it's going to change your relationship in one way or another for the better, for more harmony, for more increased communication, for more closeness in your relationship, more togetherness, or for the worst because you have to leave each other, whether you want to or not, Capricorn, whether you're ready or not. And do you know what I love about you? I love how honest I can be in my readings because you're very, you're very honest to yourself. You're very honest to other people. You're very level-headed. Um, and I feel I can just be really honest with you. And I don't know if sometimes I'm too, I'm too blunt or I'm too forward. And if I am, please let me know. With the star card here, I do believe there's an element for you to heal, for you to come out of this. Um, and for you to really improve this situation of yours with the star card um, energy. So it's it's healing, it's cleansing. You'll heal within yourself. Maybe there'll need to be tears. Maybe they'll, you know, this needs to happen. But maybe there needs to be tears. Maybe there needs to be healing. Regardless, this is going to happen for you. So this is, it's, it's, it's quite a beautiful energy here with the star card. So whatever's going to happen, it's the high priestess is here because this is major change, revelations, um, truths. Something major is getting revealed. For some of you, it is a pregnancy. Um... For some, it could be a pregnancy after you break up with a partner, though. Uh, for some of you, you've been wanting this to happen for quite some time. You've been hoping, wishing, and praying for this. And suddenly, you know, Mother Earth is giving you the, the gift of creation with, with a loved one. Um, so that's absolutely beautiful with the High Priestess energy here. But I do think some of you are coming in together with a relationship. You've either got people you're choosing with, and I wouldn't be surprised if the person you're, you choose, you end up having a family together or children together. You're actually creating something here, creating a family, creating a legacy, creating a family unit, a home, building a family here. So it's a wonderful energy and there is a potential future with this person for some of you. Absolutely. Um, this energy is coming through here. Then you have the seven of swords. So I'm wondering if there is an air sign or someone that's not being completely honest with you. It doesn't have to be an air sign. It can be any sign. Uh, Capricorn, but it's someone that's failing to be honest. It's someone that's treading lightly or treading on eggshells or feels like they have to tiptoe around a certain situation and beat around the bush, so to speak. It's also indicating that there could be deceit. There could be someone doing or saying something behind your back. So I feel like there could be a bit of dishonesty coming coming through here. I think eventually it's someone will want forgiveness they're still looking back, so they want forgiveness or they want you to acknowledge something that they've done or they want closure. Um, and I do think you will give it to them, Capricorn. Um, whether you forgive or you forget or, or vice versa, there's some sort of cleansing that will take place because of this. Now, I also feel like this could be someone from the past that a relationship didn't work with. Um, and as a result, I almost feel like they're looking, they keep looking back to you, but you've moved on. Some of you have had a family, you've had children, um, or you've, you know, you've adopted pets, you've created a, a life together, you've, you've traveled together, you've created many memories, you've created a family maybe, and this person is still looking to this. They're getting nostalgic over you. Possibly there's regret or remorse here because they, they, they had the opportunity to have this with you and they chose not to do it. Um, or maybe this is you. Some of you are turning uh, are turning away from potentially having having a family because you've got the Ten of Cups with the Six of Swords. Or some of you are breaking up a family, actually. This could be divorce. You're moving away. Whether relocating, moving away because of you're separating. Maybe you're moving all together. You're traveling together. But whatever it is that's happening around you, there's the element of movement but looking at these other cards here, I do feel like there's someone very strong in your destiny in around around you in this time that's destined to be with you. You're destined to have children with this person. 
so this is coming through quite strongly for some of you again it won't resonate with everyone but for some you know you've pictured a family life together or you're maybe blending families maybe you already have children of your own they have children of your own their own and you're coming together in a merged family but there's you know this is coming through here uh, for you in regards to relationships let's move on and have a look at your career and creative pursuits and see what's happening for you there capricorn the hangman ace of wands six of cups page of pentacles uh three of pentacles and the ace of pentacles Okay, the hanged man here, something you've been waiting on, an opportunity you've been waiting on arises for you here, Capricorn. A decision will need to be made. You've got two aces, two swords, remember? Two aces. Major decision needs to be made could impact your long-term career and short-term career as well. One of these decisions might have something to do with the past. Um, because you've got three pentacles, three cups. So I'm wondering what this decision here that, that lies ahead for you. Ace of Wands, it could be coming from a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or the Ace of Pentacles could be coming from the from the Earth sign. The Earth sign looks more like they will they they're willing to discuss pay or terms or negotiate with you in some sort of way here. It could be connected to finance, estates, property, developments, assets of some kind here. It's monetary wealth, it's physical gain. And I think this may be the better opportunity, um, is what I'm seeing here. Although this opportunity is worth exploring as well. The Ace of Wands sits next to the Six of Cups. So I'm wondering if this is an opportunity from your past, or it's a job opportunity, or it's a learning opportunity, um, studying at a degree, doing an online workshop, um, educating yourself, embarking on a journey of higher learning here with the Six of Cups. It's also It also could be a past employer that comes back in and wants you to work for them again. Uh, Capricorn, it could be this as well. It could also be a family business. This is seen as the family card or possibly even working from home. So mind you, this could be two different income streams you'll be juggling around this time but I do see that one is going to be more prominent for you um, and there'll be a lot of commitment for both and as a result you're going to have to choose between one I'm not sure if you'll be able to juggle the two because especially those that have children or family life I think there's a lot of contacts and, and business relationships you need to nurture in both on both sides and as a result this may um this may see you a little bit overwhelmed here is what I'm seeing for some. But I do believe there's an offer because the Page of Cups holds an offer here with a fish. It may be coming from a Pisces or during the time of Pisces. So it, this is where this offer lies. And you can see there's two cups coming in together here. It's quite powerful. It's something you've been waiting on. You know, the hangman is here. Just be careful with this offer from the fire sign because I feel like with the hangman next to it, it's I feel like it's it's you're going to be a fish out of water. It's something you're not used to doing. It's something a little bit different, more autonomous, more introverted, maybe it's not as hands-on. Um, the role in itself or the job description is a little bit different. You know, so you might be a bit of a like a fish out of water here with the page of cups energy. But look, I do believe there is an offer coming. There is negotiations happening here as well. Something to do with children, possibly working for children, looking after children, writing children's books, um, creative pursuits, illustrations, working with client relations with different people, helping different people sort out strategies or um, options um, in some regard here. Options with finance, options with assets, um, with property, reimbursements, insurance something around the family, the family home, um, insurance contents or, or anything like this. It depends what industry you're in. But I am seeing sacrifices, negotiations will be made. Um, and I think you'll be leading these, uh, Capricorn. This is you on the bench, you elevated. It's almost like you're governing the terms and conditions. You're, di you're dictating almost. Um, not in a bad way, not in like an unhealthy dictatorship. It's more just like it's delegating tasks, um, authority, um, providing direction or mentorship even with the eight of uh, with the uh, sorry with three the three of Pentacles but you've got money next to you here with the ace so yes this can be a new opportunity to make money but I'm seeing whatever this is can bring in a lot of money and someone's going to be quite accommodating with you here particularly if you do embark on these negotiations um, 
someone's going to be willing to invest a lot of money into your product, your service, or something you deliver, a speech, a presentation, a, a promotion of sorts, is going to see people um, flock to this. It's still in its early stages, as indicated by the children here, but there's room for growth, there's room for blossoming, and something will come. Something is in a growth stage, growth of finances, growth of role, growth of responsibilities, growth of business, growth of team, um, you know, expansion or growth of knowledge even. Um, let's see how that goes for you, Capricorn, shall we? I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, and hopefully we'll chat soon. Bye for now.